So I've been keeping up with Kaylee Gaines' progress in the hospital. It seems that she is slowly improving. But what I wanted to touch on here today, again, I've mentioned this over and over again about parental responsibility. Kaylee's father came out and made statements to the press that she had been fighting with Maurice for some time prior to the March 8th incident. When teenagers act out like what happened with Kaylee and Maurice, there's something going on in the home nine times out of 10. I'm wondering what was up with the parents. Wondered that from the beginning. What was Kaylee doing and what was Maurice doing fighting? Why were they doing this? There's always red flags, always warnings. But these parents seem to have failed in some respect. I think both sets of parents for Kaylee and for Maurice missed something or it was ignored. Kaylee's father admitted that he and April, her mother, had drug problems and that April, Kaylee's mother, had trouble controlling her rebellious daughter. It appears that there were issues in Kaylee's home that could have been mitigated somehow if someone just had paid attention to the red flags that were just flying. I don't know about Maurice. Now, everybody says that she was a an honor roll student, very intelligent. She played an instrument. She was just a an upstanding student. While that may be, we don't know what the other side of that coin is. Obviously, there was some aggression there or else Kaylee would not have been in the hospital with a critical head injury. So there is a fine line between having so much control over your kid that, he's, that he feels smothered and he can't make any, he or she, can't make any decisions on their own because they feel that they're not trusted. There's a fine line there. We need to let our kids experience things so that they will fail from time to time. This is all part of the learning process. Learning how to deal with life, and with issues and with problems and, and how to solve those problems and those issues and not take it into their own hands with violence. Parents have to be involved with their kids' lives and know what those warning signs are. And I don't think anybody was paying attention here from either side of the Kaylee Gain and Mernice DeClue situation. Both sets of parents are responsible. I believe, this is just my opinion, and I know opinions are like necks. Everybody has one. And there are armchair quarterbacks out there like crazy discussing this. We won't know more until Maurice DeClue is before the judge in May on whether she will be charged as an adult or not. Bottom line for me is we as adults, as parents, have to take more of a fundamental role in our kids' lives. Now, I'm not saying you have to smother them. I'm saying you need to know what they're doing, how they're feeling. If they're not sharing with you and they're not communicating with you, that might be a red flag. Have you told your kid that it's okay to come to you with anything that may be bothering them, upsetting them? Uh, making them feel like they're less than human? Are they depressed? Y you need to ask these questions. It's so important. Kaylee, I'm just reading the update on the uh, GoFundMe page. Apparently, she does not recall, has no recollection of the March 8th incident. Whether that will change in time, who knows? She has a very, very serious head injury. We don't know cognitively where she will end up in time. And I pray that she will be restored to full health. And I'm praying for 
Marnice's family as well, and for her, because she is in her own prison right now. It's the prison of her mind, where she is likely playing this over and over in her mind. That is a prison sentence. Hindsight is always 2020. There is a lot of hurt and a lot of anger and a lot of, you know, pointing fingers. It's such a shame. It's tragic in so many ways.